And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. What is up, party people? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Have they done it? Has the Texas state government done it? Have they actually provided property tax relief? Are we going to pay less in property taxes in the great state of Texas? We're getting into it today. We're going to talk about residential. We're going to talk about commercial. We're talking numbers. We'll talk about the impact of this on renters. And we'll take your questions about property taxes, buying, selling, home ownership, any of the incredible and wonderful things that owning or even renting a home does for you, your family, your finances. Give us a call, 214-310-0008. You can always text us as well, 214-310-0008. Or anytime, day or night, you can do exactly what my son says. ToddTremontiTeam.com. And visit the website, ToddTremontiTeam.com. Uh, full price Courtney, producer Courtney, wants you to know about the podcast. If for any reason you're missing any of this show, obviously that would be a travesty. You don't want to go without your DFW Real Estate Weekly. Go catch it on a podcast app. Anyone you like, uh, Apple Podcast, Amazon, what else? Spotify. Spotify, whatever you're into. Go find DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. Not only can you find full episodes of this radio show, so whatever happens here that you miss is there. Maybe a week ago, a month ago, half of today's show. You can also find some bonus episodes, some other conversations we're having about real estate related things. Plus, you can find our YouTube channel with hundreds and hundreds. Maybe producer Gordon, you can tell us how many videos we have here in a minute. Uh, educational videos about real estate, the local market, industry news, or anything that would impact you and your home. So we will dive into your questions any minute. Check us out online at toddtremontiteam.com or just Google, Google my name, Todd Tremonti. You can look at over 700 reviews if you're thinking about buying or selling. You can also find out what your home would sell for or what kind of cash offers you could get if you're ready to buy, if you're ready to sell. All that happens online at toddtremontiteam.com. We do have a full studio today. Uh, full price producer Courtney on the computer, Woo! on the soundboard, on all the boards, on all the digitals. And we do have the Yanni Donnie, the English wonder himself, with 50 plus percent of thumb range of motion in studio. Hey. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Sometimes you can't get him to talk. Other times, hard to get him to stop. Back to you, sir. This first segment is brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his mortgage team at Cardinal Financial. If you are looking to refinance, if you're looking to buy a home, maybe you're looking at getting a second property or an investment property, Patrick is your first stop. Give him a call, 972-728-3420. Start an application on his website, patrickgleros.com. It's G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgleros.com. NMLS number 308804. Want to hear a funny Patrick story in 30 seconds or less? Always. I was on the phone. Uh, we're building a home. Uh, and so I was talking to the lender on that one. Patrick was not able to, he just, that's not a type of loan that they wanted to do. So he referred me to someone else and I was talking to that guy and I was saying, Hey, you know, it won't be long before we roll that back into a traditional mortgage. And he's like, yeah, just use Patrick. And I was like, well, I am, but don't you do that? And he's like, yeah, but just use Patrick. And I was like, well, I mean, I'm going to do that. I'm loyal to Patrick. I've been using him for years and years and years, but you don't even want to quote it. And he's like, nah, Patrick will be better. <laughs> That's just funny. flat out like now Patrick's better at what I do than than me. Just use him. PatrickGlaros.com, folks, the best in the biz. So let's talk about this uh, giant um, package, property tax cut package that was. No one knows recently. what to call it yet. You're not alone. Uh, I'm just reading what the headline called it. Yep. Uh, $18 billion, billion package has been put together. So why don't you... Uh, kind of give a, an overview of it, and then we'll we'll kind of dig into it a little bit more. Yeah, listen, let's just start here. I have been talking smack about the fact that politicians talk about property tax relief, but no one ever actually does anything. So there's going to be two very significant sides to this. But before we get into it, let's just stop and say the Texas state government actually did something about property tax. Clap it out. 
Clap it out. Look at that. They're doing something in Austin, y'all. They're doing something in Austin. Okay, politics aside, um, I'm going to oversimplify this for the sake of time. There is, I didn't do the math, but they say $18 billion of tax relief right out of the gate this year in this bill. So what it came down to is the Texas state government, one of very, very few in the United States, has a budget surplus. There's been massive growth in Texas, lots of people moving here, economy's stronger. By the way, our economy is bigger than most countries in the world and almost every other state in our country. And so uh, in many ways, we are looked to at how we operate our economy on the global scale. We have a budget, budget surplus and the governor said and other politicians that we are going to uh, give every dollar of this surplus back to our citizens through property tax relief. Now, I don't know that that actually happened, but 18 billion. Here's the brass tax of what it says. And you can, if I get off on any specifics, you can gauge me on the, on the actual letter of the thing. But residential homeowners are going to have an increased homestead exemption. So what that means is, let's just say the local tax assessor says, your, your house is worth 500,000, but there's a 10% homestead exemption. So um, you get to pay, you will pay taxes on 10% less than that in that scenario, right? So you're exempt from a certain portion of those taxes because it's your home. Currently 40000 It's currently $40,000. It's not a percentage, it's a dollar amount, right? So it's disproportionate to depending on the value of your house. But it's everyone gets to pay taxes on 40000 less than the actual appraisal valuation. Well, that's gone up to $100,000. So it's not that everyone gets $60,000, but they will pay taxes on $60,000 less of value. So if you were had a $500,000 house, you would have paid for taxes on 460,000 of its value before. Now you will only pay taxes on 400,000 of its value. Well, obviously that's a really big deal. It went from 40 to 100. So it's two and a half times the benefit. People will find a thousand ways to miscalculate that. But hear me out, you'll pay taxes on $100,000 less of the valuation. They also move some things around with how the schools get some funding from property taxes, supposedly without taking any money away from schools. So the funding for the schools will still be there, but the way that homeowners have to fund local school districts through property taxes has been, there's been some relief there. So for basic numbers, I'm going to stop there. And then I'm going to say there's also been some work done on commercial property. I'll, I'll give you one more number because okay. this is the one that I think people really care about is it's going to be, yeah. be an average savings um, of $1,373 for all 5.72 million homeowners. Texas homeowners. Yeah. So to, where that can be misleading is that's the average. average. Right. So if you own a million dollar home, you're still paying a lot more taxes than someone owns, that owns a $200,000 home. But the proportionate, everyone actually gets the same homestead exemption. It's a dollar amount. You'll pay taxes on $100,000 less than whatever the value is as your homestead exemption. And by the way, I think the best news in the whole thing is that applies this year. Now, technically the governor hadn't even like signed off on it, but he's like, as soon as that hits my desk, there's some procedural stuff. I'm signing it. So we will be sending out 2023 tax bills with this reflected on it. That's what they said. So the good news is I believe this year may be the best year of this new property tax approach. Now here comes the bad news and it's just hypothetical, but the people that are angry still, there's always people angry, producer Courtney, always. The people that are still angry are really angry that the state legislature did not of not in some way rein in tax assessors, the appraisers, because they believe the appraisers will now counteract this by just jacking up values more and more and more. The counter argument to that is they were, they've already been doing that. 
anytime the real estate market gets hot, the tax assessors get, you know, aggressive in the minds of homeowners and take all they can take. So the thought is, will they continue to do that longer than they should to go get that tax revenue that way? But there's caps. So in any one given year, they are limited in how much they can do that. That's a personal opinion, political thing that I'm, we're not going to discuss here. But what I will say is this year, I believe, will be a really legitimate year of some tax relief for a lot of, for all homeowners. Has this ever happened before? Not this way. No, it has not happened this way. There have been discussions of uh, capping how much the annual increase is. So for historically, your property value assessment can go up as much as they want, but the taxable value can only go up 10% per year. Right. There have been discussions of that needs to be five or that needs to be two. It can only go up two or five a year. They didn't do that. There are some people that would have probably preferred that. But what they did is they said, look, we have this money right now that is more than we need for the budget. How do we give it back to homeowners? And basically the way they do that is by collecting less in the following year and using that money. That's a way oversimplified way of thinking about it. But those numbers are specific to this bill that's been ha passed in the House and passed in the Senate. And the governor says he's going to approve it to the point that they're going to prepare tax assessments this year with those numbers already reflected. So that's a lot of technical number stuff. We can unpack that a little bit more as we move forward through the show. If you have questions, call or text 214-310-0008. If you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, that's what we do. That's what we help buyers and sellers and homeowners do all day, every day with an office in Richardson and an office in Fort Worth. We are the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. And the reason we're confident enough to jump on the radio every Saturday and be an advocate and a leader and a guide and a resource to our friends, family, and neighbors is because this is what we do every single day. We help hundreds of people buy and sell homes. We help thousands of people every single year evaluate whether they should buy, sell, invest, remodel, protect their homes, how to orient their homes and their lives in a way that their homes are a blessing and not a burden uh, to invest, to expand, to purchase second homes. We absolutely love what we get to do. And I love that I get to do it with some of the most incredible people in the world that I have been able to hand select, personally train and mentor with the help of Ian and other key leaders around our office. And we get to present those amazing full-time, fully dedicated real estate pros to you as an opportunity, very different than the rest of the real estate industry where you can pretty easily get a real estate license and immediately jump out and represent somebody, whether you are full-time, dedicated, expert, backed up by staff and technology or not. These people are, and I can't wait to introduce you to them. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate this year, go to ToddTremontiTeam.com or call or text right now, seriously, don't hesitate. Most people wait too late to get started. No such thing as too early. Start right now. Call or text 214-310-0008 or go online like my son says. TodTremontiTeam.com To TodTremontiTeam.com We take a minute and tell you about DP Lambert uh, and in Goosehead Insurance, his team at Goosehead. If you have not uh, shopped your home insurance, your auto insurance recently, do so with DP. He saved me thousands of dollars. He saved Todd money. He saved so many of our clients, friends, family members uh, over the years. DP.Lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at Goosehead.com, 214-838-5684. All our recommended pros and vendors are on the uh, the website, ToddTremontiTeam.com. I actually had to reach out to DP this past week because I, I, I got some hail damage uh, from a couple of weeks ago. We always put my car in the garage, always. If we ever see a risk of, of hail and we didn't put it in because it didn't show there was any hail that was going to be coming. Right. And then it popped up like a small little storm. I saw it that next evening, hail damage. Called DP or shot him a text. His team reached out to me. They connected me with my auto insurer. They called me. Then they got me set up with the co collision place, with a, a rental vehicle. They both yeah. called me. <laughs> what did you get for a rental? Huh? What kind of rental vehicle? I don't have it yet. Oh. It, it's going in in like a week. Okay. 
but they get money. They gave me money towards the rental. Yep. You know, they, it was it was super smooth. Like they all called me and knew exactly what needed to be done, and I didn't have to do anything other than just yeah. pick the day. It was excellent. No one gets all fired up to go buy insurance. I mean, it, you sleep a little better knowing you're protected in situations like. And this. it was just nice to but not have to like struggle to get it. That's all done. the difference. No one's like, oh boy, would I like to spend money on insurance today? Right. But to know that I make one call. And my go-to person, DP, he can be my person for 20 years. I could have a different insurance carrier. I could use a different collision center. I can use the roofer of my choice, whatever. But I have one person that I call that is my go-to insurance pro. And then they trigger all of that. Great service, great communication. You're not worrying. Are they refusing to call me back and all that garbage? I, I reached out to him this week on, a, on another real estate project we're on. Quick response, easy answer, trustworthy Really good stuff. dp.lambert at goosehead.com. So what are you seeing in the market right now? What's kind of the trends that we're seeing over the course of the last uh, month or so as we're, like, we're right in the middle of summer now? So yeah. what are we seeing? Absolute schizophrenia. I mean, literally, like, one conversation is a super confident, borderline arrogant seller. Next conversation is a super confident, borderline arrogant buyer. Next conversation is a fearful angry seller next conversation is a totally distraught buyer there is so much information out there and i don't know that that's ever going to change and there's so many different opinions and viewpoints and and some of that is just that everyone's living a different life and different experiences and we need to trust and care for people in their own situations others of it is people are forming their opinions and their uh decision making off of a wide array of unreliable information. So that's the snapshot of it is we are having to spend a lot of time with people. We're getting to spend a lot of time with people going, take a deep breath. Let's get a clear picture of what is accurate. And what we're, we're, what we're able to tell people in a really brief summary is that if a seller is willing to take a deep breath, slow down and be prepared, they can still break all time records. If a buyer is willing to take a deep breath, slow down and get prepared, they can get a fair deal or, or, or a little bit better than fair deal. But the leverage is still mostly to sellers, but there is more opportunity for buyers right now than they've had in quite a while. And part of that is that the interest rate increases have left actually more room for buyers to be negotiable and aggressive and find some opportunities. Okay, we normally do this in the second half of the show, but let's talk about the big but for right now, uh -oh, okay? Uh -oh. And that is that this is how sellers are feeling because it's like, oh man, I don't know if I should really put my home on the market because it's you know there's not as many buyers out there because they're scared because interest rates are high, but there are more cash buyers than ever. Yep. Talk to us about that. Yeah, I, it, it's, it's because of the last four years in residential real estate, the market, this is cyclical. This happens every, we used to have logical traditional cycles. We don't have those as much anymore because there's kind of tampering in the market um, by the Fed and, and banks and other things. And I don't mean tampering in a criminal way, although some might. I mean, literally, we're, we're, we try to keep markets from their natural cycles. So the most recent version of that is the last four years or so, buyers have consistently for a sustained period of time realized that there really is a pretty significant advantage to buying with cash. So companies have cropped up and families have bonded together to realize if we can find a way to be a cash buyer, we can get the house we want. We could probably get a little bit better deal. We could close on it sooner with less drama. So there are more buyers and cash buyers in the market for those reasons. And because of that, sellers are able to find buyers who are less sensitive to interest rates. And buyers with cash are able to um, be more optimistic and opportunistic to find those good opportunities and great deals right now. So sellers need to be aware of a higher percentage of buyers that are using cash. And buyers with cash need to understand a significant, massive, amazing benefit to being a cash buyer in this market where values have gone a little bit flatter than they were for a long time. Competition is lower and sellers are less confident. This is a perfect opportunity for a cash buyer. If you're a home buyer and you can pay all cash, if not mostly cash, call my office right now and we will tell you what a heyday we can help you have. 214-310-0008. I'm serious. I'm talking to you 
right now, if you want to buy a home between now and the end of the year, and you can do that with cash, oh my gosh, we can have some fun together. 214-310-0008. Call us or text us. 214-310-0008 for the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. We guarantee to sell your home over the average price and under the average time. And we guarantee we'll save you at least $5,000 throughout the process of buying a home. If you're a cash buyer right now, I promise you we can do a lot better than that. Give me an answer in under one minute. Oh, boy. Okay. What do people need to know about Alito? Well, most people know already that Alito is one of the most popular and favorite spots in all of DFW. What you need to know that you might not know it used to feel like it was a ways out there west of Fort Worth. With development and ingrowth, it now feels like it is the next thing out. Great schools, great sports, wonderful family community, access to the lake, access to West Texas and beyond, easy access to Fort Worth, easily under 30 minutes, a highly regarded uh, family-oriented community, but some real options for all life stages, all family makeups, an incredible area for recreation, lots of job opportunities, access to all of your needs in regard to hospital care, groceries, recreation, restaurant, dining, and then, of course, within 30 minutes, access to all you could want in one of the largest cities in America in downtown Fort Worth, access to Arlington and Dallas for sports and arts and entertainment and anything that Fort Worth doesn't offer. Alito, uh, attractive for home values. They are going up. For the most part, you're looking at 400 and up. There are some exceptions. Lots of new properties, but some older acreage properties as well. Clock. Bravo. Well done. If you haven't checked your home valuation recently, go to touchmyteam.com. Click the home valuation tab and in less than one minute. You can find out what your home would sell for, what it would rent for. You can find out information about a cash offer, see what your equity is. There's so much that you can get from there in less than one minute. Let me, let me interrupt you for just a second. If you haven't done that, go do it. I was. You know what? I, I'm not going to let you interrupt me. <laughs> well, too late. Um, if you have not yet done that, go to toddtremontiteam.com. When the page opens up, there's a huge photo on the front, probably a little bigger than it should be. And then I want you to click on that little rectangle that says home valuation. If you don't own a home, go there and you can search homes by every real estate company in all of DFW. You can take a home buyer scorecard, a home seller readiness scorecard. Find out you know your situation, build your confidence in whatever your real estate situation is. But the quality of that home valuation tool is very, very good. It is automated, but it is the, it's the—it's way better than Zillow, way better than the automated big national aggregators. This is a local, tied-in, high-quality data source. I want you to go there. I want you to test that on your property. And then if you are thinking about buying, selling, investing, downsizing, remodeling, refinancing, or any of those things, you can reply to that automated email and let us know, hey, could I get a custom valuation? And we would be happy to do that at no charge to you whatsoever. We will have a short conversation about what your plans are and the specifics of your home and help you get a really accurate valuation. You need to have an accurate valuation of your home at least every 30 days, in my professional opinion. If you're thinking about buying, selling, investing in real estate, or just wanna talk about how you can enjoy your home more, Call or text 214-310-0008 or online at DutchMoneyTeam.com. We're back, we're back, we're back in the Keen Landscaping Studios talking to you about all things residential real estate in Dallas, Fort Worth. We led the show off. Hopefully you didn't miss it. If you did miss it, go check out the podcast, DFW Real Estate Weekly and all your podcast apps. We led the show off talking uh, kind of have a deep dive on the recent uh, Texas property tax relief bill to the tune of 18 billion, that's a B, 18 billion dollars of tax relief for Texas homeowners and some commercial uh, tax relief. We didn't get to the commercial side, so I'll just mention that really quickly and uh, Ian might clarify a little bit. But broadly speaking, there have also been some caps added to the allowable annual valuation increases for commercial property. Previously, there had been little to no protections for commercial property owners, and the state had, in some ways rightfully so, collected a lot of the tax revenue from commercial property owners and only really provided incentives um, 
And that's, by the way, that's what an exemption is. It's an incentive. We do this at the federal level, the state level, even sometimes at the local level. The tax code, what is taxed and what is not and what is credited and what is um, discounted and those things, th that is the government telling you, we want you to do this, right? So when the government says, hey, we will give you a discount on your taxes if you own a home, they're saying, we want people to own homes. And the reason they want people to own homes is because when you own a home, you go to a school, you get gasoline, you go to the grocery store, uh, you pay for water, you pay for internet. One homeowner in a community has multiplicity of financial, economic, cultural, social impact in an area. So you want people to own homes. It's an economic boom to the local and, and greater community. So that's why it's incentivized. Now, the commercial side of that, you want businesses in your area to provide jobs and create revenue and bring in taxes uh, and employment and you know, all these things. Again, they're part of the cultural picture as well. Businesses then in return sort of demand certain things from cities like hiking and biking trails and parks and good schools and police and fire. Same thing as residents do because businesses are made up of people who are then residents. So there is a mutual benefit to both of those incentives. And I thought it was good that they did that, but we didn't mention the commercial piece at the top of the show. So I thought I'd bring that back. Um, lots of other things we'll get into that we were discussing in the first half, plus a bunch of your questions. You can keep asking them at 214-310-0008, call or text. You should have this phone number saved in your phone under Todd, Todd Tremonti, Todd Broker, Todd Realtor, whatever. And anytime you need something real estate related, you just literally call or text 214-310-0008. Couple of questions that we're gonna to get to um, on homes on land. But before that, this first segment is brought to you as always by Patrick Claros and his entire team at Cardinal Financial. If you're looking to get a mortgage, if you're looking to refinance, if you're looking to purchase a investment property, anything like that, patrickglaros.com is where you can go and start an application directly on his website. You can give him a call, 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. First question for you, what are the advantages of buying a home on a larger plot of land in the DFW area? So many. Uh, I have done that. So just know up front, I'm biased and I thoroughly enjoy homes on land. When we say homes on land, you, if you've listened to us very long, you know what we mean. We mean a big backyard, uh, one acre and up. We're not necessarily talking about a working farm and ranch with hundreds of acres, although I love those too. We're talking ha about having a house with a lot of one, two, three, four, maybe five, maybe 10 acres. And so the advantages are privacy, accessibility, and utility. So the utility could be lakes, ponds, trails, gardens, orchards, workshops. Maybe you're a welder, maybe you're a woodworker, maybe you're a quilter and you want a secondary building. Uh, maybe you want in some areas a secondary unit, a rental, a vacation rental, guest home, mother-in-law suite. Maybe you want room for a swimming pool. We started talking about this weeks into COVID, meaning people were used to going to the gym, going to their storage unit, taking the kids to the park, taking them to the community pool, all these things. And we saw a massive contraction back into the home, which we saw in the late 60s and 70s with the back to the land movement and all these things. We've seen a growth in a people being critical or demanding more of their schools. And so there's a movement towards homeschool. All of these things we've seen a draw towards the home, the land. And so you want more space to not go to the gym, but maybe to have a home gym, um, to not go to the park, but your, your front or backyard feel a little bit more park-like, not go to the pool, but have a pool. Um, you know, so more room, more land, more space allows you to do that. So you have privacy from neighbors, you have, you know, room to play, room to work, room for recreation, room to rest, um, not, not counting the house, you could have a larger home on a larger lot. And then there are many, many other things. You could have animals, you know, people people do uh, chickens and with a little bit more land, you can do goats, you can even do cattle, you can do horses, all these things. So that's just a quick brainstorming of what a larger lot can do for you. And there are many other things, including a more significant investment in real estate and the value of that land. 
So what are some of the things that people should be considering when they're thinking about purchasing, you know, rural property or home with some acreage? Like what are the key things that need to be going through somebody's mind as they're deciding to do this? Well, there's several. Obviously, you know, some logical things like cost. You know, if you ha- if you have more land, it's likely to cost a little bit more depending on where that is. Maintenance is one. Uh, mowing a quarter acre size lot and mowing a two acre size lot is obviously different. So there might be some cost, both time and financial there. There also might be some real enjoyment of that. I actually love uh, getting on the mower, putting on some good music or an audio book and, and going. But um, those are a couple. Um, others of them are oftentimes a home and its utilities and, and peripheral utilities are set up differently on land. For example, you might not have city sewer access you might have a septic set up. You might have, you might not have city water. You might have a well set up. You might not have a normal, you know, board on board fence. You might have barbed wire. Those are just a few examples. You might have a more uh, interesting access to solar. Uh, you might not have paved road. You might have, you might have gravel. So as you're preparing to own a home like that, you might decide what do you want? What don't you want? How quote out in the country end quote, do you want to feel? And then uh, literally the buying process, we probably want to inspect. We definitely want to inspect all of those things, which are more than we normally would on a single family neighborhood home. Our team does two things that the two niches or niches that we serve most. And there are a few others are mid to upper mid neighborhood homes. So 400 and up, we do 400 all the way up to two, 3 million neighborhood homes. in in desirable neighborhoods. And then we also do lots of homes on one to 10 acres. So those are very different buying experiences. To answer your question, on the land one, we're looking at getting different inspectors out there, evaluating the value of those different elements more so than just the structure in the house itself. Courtney, you ready? Oh boy, here we go. Hold on, unmute, Courtney. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, if your chair wasn't loud enough, that <laughs> shout right there, that was. That was loud enough. We it. need to put some grease on this chair. Yeah. All right, By we, she means we, <laughs> as in not her, right. which is fine. We serve women. I tell my son all the time, boys, boys take care of the girls. All right, next up, sir. You ready? Courtney Ramis Slang Word of the Week. Hold on. It's that time. In, Still don't have any music. In the words. event. Need music. In I the know, event. I'm sorry. In the event that we have a first time listener, yeah. could you very quickly explain what in the world we're doing? Yeah, I like to infiltrate the show with uh, useless segments. And so this is uh, the. In London, in parts of London, they speak Cockney rhyming slang. So Co- they. Cockney is sort of a. That's accent, the dialect. Dialect, yeah. yeah. So they do rhyming words to in place of another word. And we have found them to be mostly nonsensical and often not rhyming. As an example, whistle and flute is suit, right? See that? Whistle and flute. Put on your whistle and flute. Yeah. All right. I have a, I'm just going to run this by you. This is just as ridiculous as this whole segment. So could you please introduce the Cockney rhyming slang segment for me real fast? Welcome to the Cockney Rhyming Slang Word of the Week. That felt as ridiculous as this whole segment. Okay, go ahead. Rub-a-dub-dub. Rub-a-dub-dub. Get some grub. No, that wouldn't be English. Rub-a-dub-dub. Go to the pub. Pub. It is Uh, pub. I didn't think you would get that one. I I lose. I lose this week. Normally, I mean, y'all have gone so good at this game. We're like four out of five. Lately. I gotta I'm gonna I've gotta up my game. I don't feel bit. like I get to join you in that win. You don't. I got that one. You got definitely that. Definitely don't. Myself. You definitely Thanks don't. for being here though. <laughs> Thanks for being and, and the and shouting into the microphone right when we got that going. And we can unmute her we'll mute her back again. My right ear will never be the same. Hey folks, you're listening to Texas Real Estate. Actually you're listening to DFW Real Estate, because we changed the name of this show six months ago. DFW Real Estate with Todd Tremani, and you can catch the podcast with full episodes of this show, as well as shorter, easier to digest, educational real estate audio. Anywhere you listen to podcasts or music, it's called DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. We gave it a really long specific name so you can easily search it. DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti on all of your audio podcast apps. Check it out. Subscribe. Tell your friends. 
Uh, we're, we're noticing people are listening from all over the United States. Lots of California listeners, uh, lots of Texas, Texas listeners, lots of Florida listeners, and everywhere in between. So if you know someone that might be moving here or might be moving within the DFW area, share the podcast with them. You can also share the YouTube channel, and you can find all of that at... DotramoneyTeam.com. DotramoneyTeam.com. We're in the midst of going through uh, one of the books that you wrote, The Five Lives That Will Ruin Your Real Estate Career and The Truth That Can Make You Wealthy. We're in the midst of all those truths. There's 12 truths. Yep. We're going to cover truth number eight today, okay? Okay. And truth number eight is hard work is required. Turns out hard work yeah. is, in fact, required. Now, let's be honest. That's an incomplete statement. Hard work is required for what? Well, the book is talking about becoming wealthy in a real estate career, but this obviously applies to any career. Hard work is required. Now, does this mean we all have to go swing a sledgehammer in the hot Texas summer sun? No. Grateful for the people that do that, for sure. Our, our world wouldn't work without some hard labor. But many, many, many of us, especially in DFW 2023, are not doing that kind of hard work. We're in the air conditioner with our beverage of choice, doing work that is not backbreaking. But if you're not finding yourself frequently, if not regularly, meaning on a daily basis, doing things that you don't want to do, doing things that stretch your gifts and your abilities and force you to get better, if you're not doing hard things, my argument isn't that you can never be successful, but the argument is that you will not stay you will not sustain that success. You'll waffle, you'll flatten out, you'll plateau. And the industry, the market, the business will pass you up, will leave you behind, or you'll become less valuable. You have got to put in the hard work. Now, this book was written to real estate agents as a wake-up call. The headline is, that the main title is Five Lies That Will Ruin Your Real Estate Career. And those are five things that people generally believe are true, that it turns out are not true. The second part of the book, The 12 Truths That Can Make You Wealthy, is a how-to on simple things that you can repeatedly do that can, if you're consistent with them, make you wealthy. Whether that's financially wealthy, peace of mind, time, energy, health, you get to choose. Finances are a part of that. Hard work is required, turns out. I got to go over to the uh, Richardson Republic title office mm. last week. Best of the best. Had us, they were awesome. We, I was visiting with, with Christina. I've got a funny little story I'll tell you in a second. But uh, one of my friends closed on a property there. And as always, it was super easy, seamless. They took great care of him. Yep. Um, and yeah, I mean, Republic title are just the leader in the industry. They're just so fantastic. It's 972-423-8777 is the phone number. RepublicTitle.com is where you can go to find out more information. I think Christina may join us soon well radio. last time she didn't here's the deal we made a deal out of it she, on the air while she was in the office and the following week she got some phone calls from people at republic title saying <laughs> so was listening to uh the radio and i heard you had the opportunity to go on the uh on the show and didn't uh didn't end up going on the sh on the radio did you and she's like uh, how do you know that because they were talking about you on the radio show and yep. i was like oh that's so funny that they, they were, were listening, listening. <laughs> and the best part is we've now done it again and she uh so i was talking to her and she's like well okay well like what would you ask me so i was like I made so it we will talk to her about some stuff christina who i have worked with with republic title for almost 20 years now uh 16 or 17 years um, and then the closers over there who are just wonderful, Angela and the whole crew. Yep. Uh, RepublicTitle.com. They've got some incredible calculators, closing cost calculators, lots of tools and resources so that you can sleep at night while you're transferring ownership of a property and not panic that someone that's not even involved in the deal is going to tank the deal. Get it done right. RepublicTitle.com. I do want to also ask Ian a quick question. Ian, who are you going to have do the work uh, did you get hail on your roof of your house or just the car? Just the car. Okay. If you had hail on the roof, who would you have called? Uh, I would definitely have reached out to PMR. No doubt about it. PMR Roofing. You called John, actually called Jordan Collins uh, and Quentin and the whole crew over there uh, are reliable, honest. They've done some work at Jeremy's house and several other team members and tons and tons of our clients. 
Call Jordan Collins at 214-957-0839. That's Jordan at PMRRoofing.com. If you want to email Jordan at PMRRoofing.com. Roofing's tough in DFW. Because we have wind, because we have hail, because we have lots of intense thunderstorms, these vulture roofers come in from out of market or they spring up in a year where there was a lot of storms and then they go away. They go back to their home or they go out of business. PMR has been around for a long time. They will be around for a long time. They're good, hardworking, honest people that will look you in the eye, shake your hand, do what needs to be done, not sell you anything you don't need and do what needs to be done right and well and honestly. Go to pmrroofing.com. Would you say that home ownership is more of an asset or more of a liability? Trick question. Um, if the question is, is the house itself an asset or a liability, I could play it both ways. Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, famous financial guy. Not everybody likes him or agrees with him, but what he says is an asset puts money into your pocket regularly and a liability takes money out. And while you live there, a house costs you money. Whether you have a mortgage and you have to pay the mortgage or you don't and you have to pay your property taxes and your insurance and repairs and things like that. So under that category, people would call it a liability. I would categorize it as a long-term asset because a day will come when you can sell that home. But I would also calculate it as a short-term asset from a non-financial perspective. And this is where it gets a little different. But that is an asset to me because it allows me to protect my family, to sleep and eat and play and rest safely. It allows me to live out my God-given calling to be a host to others, care for others, be a place of rest and refuge for others who are hurting, who others who may need a place of encouragement, a meal. Um, so home to me has a lot more value than just financial. It's where I cultivate a marriage with my wife. It's where I cultivate my children and their education and their development and their confidence and their, their joy and their ability and their personalities. It's where we rest. It's where we escape the challenges of a broken and sinful and fallen world. It's where we eat wonderful meals. It's where we swim in the pool. It's where we run around in the backyard. It's where we play catch. Our home is not only on the financial balance sheet. It's on, for me, an eternal balance sheet of the investments I can make in people. And the investments, I, you know, people like this term self-care. It's where I go to escape the intensity and fear and anxiety and stress of the world. We just talked about my book, Hard Work is Required. It's where I go to escape trying all the new things that scare my pants off and I do them anyway because hard work is required. So home belongs on more than just the financial balance sheet. A lot of real estate agents, a lot of consumers, especially over the last decade, have really only thought about houses in regard to purchase price, resale value, appreciation, and cash flow. I'm just telling you. I'm not telling you how to live your life. That is not how I think of a home. All of that is important. I think about all that. But I think also about the lifestyle benefit, the lifestyle value, and to your point, the lifestyle ROI, return on investment. And those are not all mathematical calculations. If you share that viewpoint about a home and you would like to buy or sell a home in the next year, give us a call. What you're gonna get to do is talk to people who share that value. We absolutely think about return on investment, cash on cash, resale value, the right improvements. But we very much also wanna help lead and guide you through thinking about, asking some questions, answering some questions that maybe you're not thinking about on your own of how this house can be a blessing and not a burden to you. How it can be an asset to you in more ways than just financially. And how you might actually begin to think about your home and its impact on you, your friends, your family, your neighbors in ways that you never have before. If that's attractive to you and you want that in your current home or a future home, call 214-310-0008 or overunderagent.com. If you have not checked your home valuation, do what we've been telling you to do. Go to toddchamoneyteam.com and click that home valuation button. In less than one minute, it is gonna give you all the information you could possibly need. It is automated, but it's gonna give you a ton of really good information on what your home is worth, what it would sell for, what it would rent for, what a cash offer would look like, what your home equity is. 
It's going to give you a lot of information. It's really, really, really worth your time. Go to TodtramoneyTeam.com and click the home valuation button. That home equity tracker is underrated. That thing's pretty cool. What it's telling you on an ongoing basis is this is what you owe and this is where the current market value is. Like This is what you could get out of this house. This is what you could potentially borrow against. This is what you could potentially put up as collateral for something else. That is a really smart number to know on an ongoing basis. And if you go to TodtramoneyTeam.com, you can get updates on that on a regular basis. Did you hear me say overunderagent.com a minute ago? Mm-hmm. It's a website that still works, but we haven't used it in years. The website where you can find everything that we offer and everything we say is ToddTremontiTeam.com. We have all sorts of links and websites and domains out there for different marketing campaigns, but all roads lead to ToddTremontiTeam.com. I think at last count, uh, we had about 18,742 domains, right? You're wrong for judging me. Don't you say that. Come on. We're just, we're out here marketing for clients, marketing for our team members. By the way, when I say marketing for team members, if you're looking to get into the real estate industry or you're one year or less in the business, we're looking to hire three real estate agents with one year or less, including no experience, one year or less experience. We're looking to hire three people by the end of the quarter, meaning uh, by September. So um, if you would like to do that, go to toddtremonteteam.com, click on the career... <laughs> Click on the careers tab. Click on the careers tab. Click on the careers tab at toddtremonteteam.com. You get a chance to chat with Ian. Uh, if it looks like a fit, Ian and me, uh, we'll get a chance to chat with you, point you in the right direction of the right team, whether that's us or not. But if you're dedicated, want to be full-time, and you want to deliver world-class value to friends, family members, neighbors, and people all across DFW, we would love to have a conversation with you about potentially becoming wealthy in real estate, having impact in people's lives in real estate, the financial and non-financial benefit of homeownership and being someone that does that full-time. Go to TodtramoneyTeam.com, click on the careers tab. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home anytime in the next year in DFW, also go to TodtramoneyTeam.com. You can click on home valuation, the buyer tab, the seller's tab, and find a ton of value there. We look forward to talking with you about how we can serve you throughout any of your real estate needs. Todd Tremonti, team.com.